Hello, good day everyone. I am Jade Brian Pamintuan, the assigned reporter of the second output of problem number three, using recursion technique. But before that, let me define first what is recursion. So let's proceed to define the recursion. So what is recursion? A function that calls itself is known as recursive function, and this technique is known as recursion. So, we have now problem number 3, having an instruction to write a C program that satisfies the output below. So, now here is the code of problem number 3 using recursion technique. We have number sign include stdioh as our header file. The next line is int sum of cube open parenthesis int close parenthesis semicolon. So the first two lines of the code declares the recursion first which is sum of cube. Next to it we have main open and close parenthesis open curly brace as the beginning of the ex execution of all program. Next line is int num semicolon. Next is print f open parenthesis quotation marks having input number colon inside of it then close parenthesis and semicolon. Next line is scan f open parenthesis quotation marks having the format specifier of percent %d or modulus d inside of it then comma and num close parenthesis and semicolon so this part of the code is asking for user input from the sample output we should input the number value of 3 next we have int i is equal to 1 and semicolon which initializes i to 1 so that our sequence will start from 1. Next is print f open parenthesis quotation marks having backslash n or printing new line then sequence colon inside of it then close parenthesis and semicolon. Next is while open parenthesis i is less than or equal num close parenthesis and open curly brace. Next line is print f, open parenthesis, quotation marks having the format specifier of percent t or modulus d inside of it, then comma, then i, close parenthesis, then semicolon, and i plus plus or the decrement of i, then semicolon, and then close curly brace or closing curly brace. This part of the code is printing of i's value every loop until i is equal to the inputted number. Since we have the inputted no number value of 3, then we should start our value from 1. Then we have now the sequence of 1, 2, 3. Next of it is print f open parenthesis quotation marks having backslash n or printing new line then cube colon inside of it then closing parenthesis then semicolon next line is 4 open parenthesis int c is equal to 1 semicolon c is less than or equal num semicolon then c plus plus close parenthesis then open curly brace next line is int cube is equal to c times c times c then semicolon next line is print f Open parenthesis, quotation marks having format specifier of percent %d or modulus d inside of it, then comma, cube or cub, closing parent, close parenthesis, then some semicolon, and then closing curly brace. This part of the code is printing of c's cubed value which is 1, 2, and 3. So now we have cubed values of 1 for the value of 1, 8, and for the cube value of 2, 
and 27 for cubed value of 3. Next is int ttl is equal to sum of cube open parenthesis num close parenthesis semicolon. Next line is print f open parenthesis quotation marks having backslash and total semicolon space percent d inside of it comma ttl then closing parenthesis close parenthesis and then semicolon then closing curly brace this part of the code will be the initialization of ttl and calling of the function or recursion which will return to the total of the cubed numbers from 1 to the inputted number which is 3 and then it will print the total of it next in sum of cube open parenthesis int n or integer n close parenthesis open curly brace next line is if open parenthesis n equals equals zero close parenthesis then open curly brace the next line is return zero semicolon then closing curly brace if the inputted number is zero then it will return to zero else return n times n times n plus sum of cube open parenthesis n minus 1 closing close parenthesis semicolon then closing curly brace else will return cubed value of the inputted number plus the cubed value of the inputted number minus 1 until the value of the inputted number is created greater than 0 so now we will try to run our code to the CPP Droid application. Then, so this is the finished output. Thank you for watching and listening, and good day once again.